Hi, my name is Ming, and today I want to share one of the first recipes I learned to make with the sous vide technique, creme brulee. Let's start with the egg yolks. Get the freshest and best quality you can find, because this is essentially a custard dish. Combine the white sugar and a pinch of salt to bring out these simple flavors. Then whisk until smooth. We don't want to over whisk and lose some of that color. Then gently pour in the heavy cream while whisking to get a smooth base. Because we're doing this in the sous vide, we don't need to preheat the cream or temper the yolks. One thing that is optional to the traditional creme brulee recipe is the vanilla. I'm using vanilla paste here because it's really nice to see the black specks throughout the cream, but extract works just as well. And just to make sure that we get that silky smooth texture, I always put this through a strainer. There will always be bits of egg that you want to keep out of your cream, so you get a smooth custard. My chef friend taught me that deli containers are great for custards and batter because it makes for easy transfers. And take a second to admire that perfect custard base. This is one of my favorite sous vide recipes, and it really sold me on being able to easily make the more complex recipes out there. I like to use these four ounce quilted mason jars because they look really nice and people can try more than just one flavor. Cast the base into each mason jar in a slow and steady stream. This way, it doesn't form any bubbles and the top of your custard is absolutely even. You want to reach about one centimeter from the top or with these jars, go ahead and fill it up to the first line. When you seal these up, close the lids just until they're fingertip tight, which means tighten with your fingertips and not your whole hand. If you close them too tightly, the trapped air will press against the glass and could crack or break the jars. It's happened to me twice so far, when I first started making these, and it was a mess to clean up in the sous vide. Then, fill up a container with water, and place the jars carefully inside the sous vide water bath, before heating, so you don't shock the glass and have these mason jars crack. Starting them in room temperature water really lets them cook gently and gives you that tender custard. Let them sous vide at 181 degrees Fahrenheit or 82 degrees Celsius for one hour, starting from when it reaches cooking temperature. When the time is up, remove the jars from the water bath. Dry off the inside and outside of the lids and let them rest at room temperature for about 15 minutes. The reason you want to dry the lids is so the residual water doesn't rust up the tops. Then transfer it to the refrigerator to fully set for at least two hours. So here comes the fun part. Set your blowtorch to the lowest gas setting and let's get ready to brulee this cream. I've bruleed at high settings and I've either burnt the sugar way too hard or have even cracked the glass. Evenly dust a layer of sugar over the custard. The more sugar you use, the more dense and crunchy the top layer will be. Start your push at a 45 degree angle coming down and don't stay in one spot for too long. Move the torch in small circles to start the caramelization, but not to take it too far towards burnt and bitter. The heat will carry on the brulee for a few seconds, so cut the torch when it starts to get dark brown. Then let the crust cool for a couple minutes until it fully sets and reaches its crispy potential. So dead! Let's take a moment to savor that super crispy crust and tendered custard underneath. So hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next one when it's time to eat again.